Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man machine, everything in between, to more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, where we last left off, the king gave me a paraglider and he died, he fucked off and died, he told me an amazing story that I barely paid attention to, um, something about the calamity, something about us getting fucked up, something about Ganon fucking popping up and saying, oh bitch, you came to the wrong hood today, ruined it all, right, and then his beautiful, beautiful daughter, uh, is encased in some crystal or some shit in the tower or wherever we gotta save her. But don't worry, we gotta make our way to Kakariko village first. So don't worry, Zelda. I will be after that fine booty later, later, later. But for now, I gotta go talk to an old lady. I love my paraglider. Everybody loves the paraglider. Love it so much that they just straight up rip it off <laughs> from from other games. Oh man. Can you think of how many games ripped off a paraglider? Here's the thing. I don't want to say the game I don't want to say other games ripped off paragliding because gliding's nothing new in games. But it's kind of annoying when the animation is literally kind of the same, and on top of that. You get a small circular fucking stamina bar next to it. Like, come on, guys. You could have done anything. Anything to make it different. Fuck it. If you want to steal from gliding, don't do it from Zelda. Do it from fucking Batman. The best gliding in any fucking game. Come on, man. Do we not forget how awesome it was to glide around in fucking Arkham Knight? Like... People barely used the Batmobile because of that shit. It was great. But this is easier to make though, so I guess uh, I guess we're just gonna rip off the paraglider, you know. Luckily though, in Tears of the Kingdom though, uh, I'm saying though a lot. Luckily in Tears of the Kingdom, it seems like there's gonna be a lot of better traversal options. So that's definitely gonna heighten my enjoyment of of that game like tenfold right then and there. There we go. Oh, come on, dude. I just landed. I need a bow. Thank you. Also, I'm gonna pick up your thing. Mine now. It's my tooth. Okay. Onward to Kakariko. I should find more shields. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna ambush. Ooh. Careful there. That guy's a different color. That means he needs business. Can I make that sound any more racist? Hold up. Ow. Oh shit, he has a sword now. He needs business. Oh shit. There we go. Taking this rusty sword. Oh well, I can't take it, damn it. And this is almost beaten up, anyways. I need some range. Ooh, 16. Nice. Who's sleeping? I hear somebody sleeping. They must have been watching Black Clover. Bada boom, bada bang! That show sucks! <laughs> you didn't expect you didn't expect your fucking taste to get challenged this episode, did you? I will say Black Clover, not that good. But that song though, stuck in my head. Love it. Black Clover, bad. Black Rover, good. Oh man, sir, I wonder what you're looking at. I'm just gonna take a good old peek myself. Hey, don't be rash, man! Don't end it here. I'm young, but even <laughs> but you're even younger. I'm trying my best out here, but I get the feeling you're gonna end it but <laughs> you're gonna end up trying even harder in this world. That's the feeling I get when I look at your face. But maybe I'm nuts. Ah. Now calm down and climb off the rail and don't jump down. Climb this way. <laughs> I want to go up there and see what he says. 
Then I go up there and he's all like, oh, you're okay. Hey there, buddy. I'm back. Phew, he had me worried there. Don't mess with people like that. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? <laughs> I love how he's like, don't end it all, man. Hold up, hold up. You got more to live for. And then you come back up, and he's all like, we're fucked, dude. <laughs> by, uh, by the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about the mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. I didn't even notice that tower right there. <laughs> they seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long, deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. Aww. You know what this means, right? Don't you? The end is nigh! Repent! With all the craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on things. Just to see it suddenly start moving, you know? Uh, what thing? I'm talking about the Guardian, of course. Haven't you heard the old stories about Hyrule? See that thing over there? The one shaped like an overturned urn? That's what I'm talking about. Did you know some of them can move? One, uh, one of them started chasing me down and tried to kill me. This one here? Nah, it's a different one. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that was the end of me. I was prepared for the worst. But I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. Mm -hmm. You think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me? Eh, I wish. Is this true? Wait, what? I wish. Uh, truth is, I just got lucky. Anyways, I heard guardians like that can still wander around Hyrule Castle. So be careful. Cool. What the hell's going on with this fire? It's weird. It's not properly where it needs to. Well, that one's properly where it needs to be. The other one's like kind of, kind of slightly off kilter. Is that the one I'm looking for? Off, off kilter? I'm not going to worry about the shrines right now. We're going to head to Kakariko, but I am going to get you out of my fucking face. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. There we go. I am going to, uh,. Just unlock it so I can fast travel to it later. Because there's no reason to not. I'm in dire need of some arrows. Sir, leave me alone. I said stop! See, I warned you. And now I'm the bad guy. I'm gonna take your stick now, it's mine. Boko bat. Ooh, mushrooms. Oink! Don't mind if I do. Alrighty. Time to make a long trip to Kakariko until I get my horse. I need a horse, a horse, a horse, a horse. Those guys are dancing and shit. Look at them having a great time. All far away and shit. And they still run at a better frame than fucking Pokemon. Oh, what you singing over there? Okay, I have no, uh, I have one shield, that's badly damaged, oh, oh, wait a minute, no, you don't notice anything, this is my only option, this is my only option, no, you don't notice anything, no, don't you come up here, damn it, Are you gonna like disappear? Please don't disappear. Fuck you, Choo Choo Jelly. I don't need you right now. I said I don't need bullshit right now. I'm trying to get close to the goat so I can ride it. I need to get close to it. I can I can be a little bit more noisy over here. But once I get this close, I gotta be, like, quiet. If I can ride it... Then it'll be easier for me to get to the horses faster. No! Don't you turn around! Son of a bitch! Come here! No! Stop running! Don't you dare go in that water! Don't you dare! Oh fuck. I hate that when you're running. I can't. I can't mount you. 
Ah, oh, fucking Christ. Damn it. Now I gotta deal with you assholes. I could use that shield. But first I gotta get rid of you. Ouch! I hate these damn things. Shield, that's mine. Yeah. And all there's left is you. Hold up. You threw an arrow at me. Threw. My bad. You shot an arrow at me. Thank you. I'll just return the favor. Ready. I was too loud near that goat. I wanted to, uh, you know, I wanted to ride the damn thing. Oh, there's a fish over there. I can use some fish. An opal. Current's pretty goddamn strong. Try not to go out too far. Very strong for me, but it's also too strong for the fish. Oh, don't you swim the other way, you son of a bitch. Ah, damn it. Alright, whatever. Two fish, that's good enough for me. I can also check these boxes over here. Some apples. And then... There we go. Blizzard. Mushroom. Alrighty. I'm gonna switch to the spear. Arrows. Thank you. Now if I see a deer or another goat, I'll try and ride it, but... Eh, for now, we'll just walk, I guess. Painstakingly walk. All boring and slow. And, you know, all that awesomeness. Oh, hey, another goat. Are you facing the way I want you to face? Oh, yeah, you are. See that delicious, delicious goat booty. What are you running for? It wasn't even that loud. Goat's just running to be a dickhead. I love stealth in this game so much, I gotta slowly fucking creep up to the goat. <sighs> this is fun. This is fun. I think you can ride the goat. I'm pretty sure you can ride the goat. You can ride deers, you can ride bears, you can... Yeah, no, don't... You, you don't turn this way. Don't you fucking dare, you son of a bitch. What, dickhead? You know what? Fuck you. Come here. Ah, fuck you guys. I didn't want the goat anyways. Grab this frog, it's mine. Hey, you wanna like, fucking leave me alone? Or smack you into that water? Come on, swing. Now I got some arrows for your bitch ass. What's up? I got a sword. Not afraid to use it.
Ouch. Fucking yikes, man. Ah, damn it. Panicked a little bit, okay? There we go. I'll take my shield now. I'll take another shield. Don't blame me, blame the goat. I didn't want to fight you guys, alright? But then y'all started testing my gangster, so I had to, you know... <laughs> I had to let you know. Alright, what's up here? Amber? Hmm, nice. Uh, you can't just, like, quickly throw out shields, can you? You gotta, like, do this. Oh, my bad, I clicked remove. I'm sorry. Fucking Christ. Why don't they just put up a goddamn thing up here that's like, do you want to switch it out? Drop it. There we go. Arrows, I need those... Ooh, better fish. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, whatever, it's far away now. Alright, let's make our way to the fucking horses. I've been spending too much time fucking around here. And lord knows I gotta spend more time fucking getting over there. Oh, hi you piece of shit, goat. Every time I try to sneak up on a fucking goat. Every single goddamn time. I didn't learn my lesson, I'm gonna fucking do it again. That was terrible. What? Oh my god, wow, fuck it. I'm out of arrows. <laughs> Listen, I'm out of arrows, but it's not gonna stop me, alright? Damn it. Oh, come on, I had that. Alright, go fuck yourself. I'm done, I give up. Where's the goat, by the way? The fuck? Oh, I scared it, didn't I? Because I was throwing shit. Oops. <laughs> Still didn't learn my lesson. Oh, wait, no, he's down here. You see nothing, goat. You see nothing! You see nothing! Sucks that I can't mount you while you're running. I should be able to. Son of a bitch. Well, that was fun. There's no guys over here. Alright. Guess I'll just be making my way downtown. I wonder if I spent a whole part already just fucking around in this one area. If so, I'm not gonna cut it. <laughs> this is gonna be the worst part of this of this goddamn of this goddamn playthrough. I won't cut it, but uh starting starting next part, I'll definitely start cutting around uh, all the bullshit. You know, unless I at least have like a nice three parts. Treat treat it like how the game treats you, right? You son of a bitch. Come on. Lazafo's horn. Okay.
There we go. Talon. All right. I just want to parry its tongue just to show that I could. I was feeling good about myself. You know? I needed a win. You know, it also just doubly sucks because it's not like I can just hop on a raft and like go up the river. The current is just fucking, you know, blowing the opposite way. So you can't even do that. Hey, a traveler. Now, are you a good traveler or are you a bad traveler? The world may never know. Hi there. Tasty meats. Huh, what's the matter with you? You look right tuckered out. You know, dueling peak stable is close, right? <laughs> but you're feeling a might peckish. I just got a thing. I just got the thing to get your strength back. Nice old hunk of meat. I carry only the finest meats. All right. Ah. I don't have any money. Rock salt. Nice. Anything you need? Be a shame. I got no money. I'm broke. Ah. So, uh, let's see what I can sell you. Something that I'm willing to sell for profit. Fifteen? Ten? Thirty? Thirty. Fifteen. Hmm. I'm gonna need some money, so... Yeah, you can have these, uh... Lizafo stuff. For now. Toads are two, baked apples three, sixty. Opals are pretty easy to come by, honestly. Ah. All right, and uh, here's one choo choo jelly. A hundred is a good amount to get myself started out here. Ah. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck. No, thank you. Fucking goat. Fucking goat. If I get near your bitch ass. You do not see me. This one, this one episode is just gonna make me fucking around with goats. I'm hiding in the grass. You come towards me. Oh damn it! Of course you're gonna stop right there. Keep walking, I just need you to walk a little bit. A little bit forward. Okay, because I'm running out of grass to hide in. It's a terrible hiding spot, by the way. Just walk forward, man. Just keep walking forward. Just a little bit more. You son of a bitch! I can't hide anymore! I just need you to go forward, man. These fucking goats out here test my goddamn patience. Oh my god. Alright. I have no choice. You son of a bitch. Yeah, you know what? I got tired of it. You're dead now. Your food to me. That was the extent of my patience. Now we got some awesome ass horses. I love ladders because even if I run out of stamina, I can just get it back. I love you, ladders. You're the best. Mules and escalators. Already. Okay. We're at the fucking horses stable now. Hello there, good sirs. Welcome to my stable! We deal in all things horse-related. We also double as an inn. Huh, I haven't seen your face around here before. Do you know about the stable system? Yes, I do. Oh, pardon. 
Let me start over. Hi. Welcome to our stable. If you come with the wild horse, you can register it here with us. Or if you want to stay for a rest, you can do though. You can you can do though. <laughs> I'm about to say you can do that, but <laughs> for some reason it came out you can do though. All right. Okay. Well, uh, I don't have a wild horse, so I'll go and get one. What do you want, sir? You only got something on your mind. Oh, sorry, I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in thought here. I've been doing rigorous research day and night to figure out the mystery, uh, the mystery of the Blood Moon. Blood Moon? No. You don't know it? That's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you all about it. For a hundred years now, ever so often, when the clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and the full moon rises and it fucking respawns all the enemies in the world. That's the real reason for it. At that moment, monsters that have been previously defeated will come back to life. Oh. And that's what is known of the Blood Moon. Why do the monsters return to life? Why does it only happen when the sky turns red? No one really has the answer to those questions. It's a mysterious phenomenon. Oh. If you learn anything about the Blood Moon as you travel, be sure to come back and tell me. <laughs> blood Moon happens and you come back, you're like, yo, the Blood Moon's fucked up. He's like, I know, right? I know, huh? <laughs> Turns into George Lopez. Alright, let's go get myself a horse. Ooh, have your pick here. These beautiful mares. And then there's also the horses. <laughs> just see John Mayer hanging out in the corner over there. He's just like, beautiful mares. I want a black horse. I like black horses. They're cool looking. But you know what? That brown horse looking really mean as fuck. Is that a brown one or is that a black one? It's kind of brownish. Kind of blackish, too. Might just be the shading that it's in. The wind blowing all nice. Grass going crazy. Imagine this on your PC. Imagine, you know? If only it was on your PC. I'm not saying to put it on your PC. I'm just saying imagine, you know? Yeah! Be my friend! I love you! I'm pressing the wrong button! My bad! I'm sorry! I was pressing R! Come back! Be my friend! I want that one. I want that horse. <laughs> I was pressing I was pressing R instead of L. My bad, I'm sorry, horsey. You know what I just realized? I'm sitting here, I'm like, I like this horse. It's brown, it's white hair. And then and then I'm just like, it's like it's calling to me, and I'm like, wait. Did I just fucking just grab a pona? <laughs> did I just grab the closest thing to a pona? Ooh, damn, that was tough, girl. I know you can get a Pona through an Amiibo, but uh, I don't have that, and I'm not buying it. If I do buy an Amiibo, it's gonna be the the uh, Twilight Princess one. Yeah, that's right, the Amiibo for Twilight Princess. And then, and then they didn't put Twilight Princess on the Switch. Hey, guess what? Zelda Anniversary passed this year. Yet Wait, actually, is that is that in May or is that in June? Zelda Anniversary. I think it might be in June. Or August. Alright, slow down. Slow down, beautiful. Alright. Need you to take a couple of steps now. Alright, I need to talk. I need to talk. I need to talk to the other guy. I need to talk to the other guy, because I feel like if I get off the horse... There we go. Hi there. Welcome to our stable. Come on the wild horse, you can register it here. I will register my horse, please. Gotcha. Uh, strength, speed, and stamina. You know what? I like it. Not a problem. Whoa. There you go. Please enter the name for your horse. I mean, come on out. Usually I name my horses like Dickhead or Loser or something like that, but this one, I feel it. Epona. Just keeping it simple. Ah. Ah, are you sure you want to name this horse Epona? Hell yeah. It's a wild horse. I love her. Wait, is it a girl horse? I, I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, registration is complete. Would you like to take the new horse with you? Yes, I would, please. Oh. Thank you. We will see oh. you next time. And, by the way, if you get separated from your horse, you can whistle to it. But your horse isn't magic. It can't hear you. Yeah, until I slap a Sheikah slate on its fucking 
facing. And I'm like, I'm sitting there looking like Drake talking about, you used to call me on my cell phone. Alrighty. Love your horse. My horse is my horse, of course, of course. We're gonna get along. I definitely won't use you to jump off a cliff. Calm down, horsey. Oop, my bad, wrong button. Okay, horse. Um, let's see, I'll just climb up there. Climb up there and just unlock this so I can come back to it later. I think what I'm planning on doing is I'm just gonna unlock the shrines as I go. Sometimes I'll do it while I'm recording. Um, well, sometimes I'll do it in the middle of the playthrough, right? You know, when I'm, you know, when I'm recording and I'm like, I feel like doing the shrine right now, I'll do it. But, uh, off screen, off screen, I'll just find them and collect them. And, oops, I'll just find them and collect them. <laughs> and, uh, but on screen, I'll make sure to actually show me doing the shrines. Uh, again, we're not going for 100% or anything like that, but for the shrines that I do do, I kind of want to show them just in case for some odd reason people would be following this playthrough. And it's not the weirdest thing I've ever seen. There are people who have followed some of my playthroughs before, even though they're kind of not meant for that, but, you know, it, it's fine. Gotta show, you know, gotta be considerate towards everyone. Oh, fuck up that fucking, that goddamn goat. Alrighty. Oh, there's a pinwheel on top of that for, like, a Korok seed. Oh, yeah, the Korok seeds, by the way, I'm not... Whoa. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Hold up. Hold up. Epona? Alright, Epona, chill out. Epona, the other way. Epona. Epona, stop being you for a moment. There's a shooting star. We gotta go grab that. Okay, girl, calm down. Calm down. I need you to listen to me right now. There's a. Just stop doing that. Fucking horse. I need to climb up there now. Okay, Pona? Oh, can I even make that? Oh, shit. That's pretty steep. Blue Nightshade, Blue Nightshade. I feel like if I put one down there, I would get a Korok Seed, but we ain't got time for that right now. I need to climb up here. Get up there as fast as I can. It's a goddamn shooting star, and I need it before the night's over. Oh man, I'm so not gonna make it. It's gonna be cold as fuck up here, too. Hold up, if I just get on this slope, it should be fine. I should be fine. Uh, slope, is it strong enough for Link to stand on? Uh, nope. Nope, it's not. Alright, fuck. <laughs> Try not to get injured. Damn it. I need a way to get up there. Fuck. Go up there and no. Oops. Damn it, dude. Oh wait, no, that's a good that's a good spot. It's kind of like a little bit of a foothold, maybe? No? It looked like it. Fuck, I'm gonna run out of time. Damn it, that sucks. I mean it should still be up there though. I'm trying to think of a way to get up there. Come on, Apana, chill the fuck out. I'm trying to... Okay, here we go. There we go, this should be a good spot. Hold here for Link. Cool. Cool. 
Come on. It's fine. Ah, uh, you know what? Come on. There we go. That should be fine. That should be fine until I get over here. I think this corner right here should be steep enough. Alright. Up you go, Link. Oh, it's getting pretty bright. Gotta look towards the sky. Get a little bit higher. Sorry, Pana, I gotta leave you behind a bit. I really want to grab whatever the hell that was. Come on. There we go. That might be a bit too high for me. Well, come on, Link. Don't don't fall off now. That might be a bit too high. Let's see. If I take my time, I can definitely make it up there. But I gotta get to a high point just to look around and see where the hell that thing fell at. Might be too late though, the sun's fucking rising. Oh crap. Come on, Link. There we go. Made in time, buddy. Kind of in time, maybe. Ah, shit. Nah. Damn it. So close yet, so far away. I don't think this was it, though, right? It shouldn't be. But hey. It's a chest. Silver rupees. Nice. Hmm. I'm still gonna hang up here a little bit, because I wanna just kinda glance over. Maybe I'll still find something. find whatever it is that fell but damn dude it was pretty it's pretty close by fuck uh what's the button for nope that's upona sorry what what's the button for uh flip down there we go that's kakariko village down there i think maybe leads to it or whatever place these markers for later where's the other Where's the other shrine I saw? Not that one. That one's near the, uh, the horses and or whatever. I'm really, I'm really annoyed that that happened. <laughs> I kind of want to, kind of want to stop recording the part so I can go back to the footage and see where the fuck it possibly fell. What the hell's down there? Is that the rock that I threw? I think that's the rock I threw. Damn it. I'll get a little bit higher. Oh, there's a cabin down there. Oh wait, no, that's Kakariko. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? Come on, Link, climb up there. You can make it. Take your sweet ass time, but you can make it. I think I might have missed one of the. Uh... Oh wait, no. Now I'm thinking about it. It's uh, it's in a different location. I was thinking about the climber's bandana. There we go. 
All right. Um. Dun -dun 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 yeah, I think I think I can only get that thing at night time. Oh, that sucks. That sucks because it was really close by too, but I just couldn't find a spot to get up here. Yeah, okay. All right. Guess I'll give up then. Damn it. That's where I. Wait. What's that over there? Oh, hey, look. The hell is that over there? I don't remember what that is over there. Put a marker over it. There's the Guardian. Castle. Alrighty. Okay, down the Kakariko we go. I'm gonna make a fucking great entrance. Yeah, ouch. Huh? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Those guys are supposed to be like, Holt, who are you? Hello there. A man? Yes, in the flesh. Huh? Is that... A Sheikah Slate? Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Link? Something like that? Ah, uh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is Paya. <sighs> Phew, I got it out. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyways, my grandmother's been waiting your return ever since I was a... Uh, I was gonna say ever since I was a child. Same difference, ever since I was little. Please hurry inside. Will do. Why, hello there. So, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Oh. What's the matter? I thought she was going to start talking. So, uh, what's the matter, Link? You're looking as, at me as though I'm a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is, uh, it is I... Wow. I can't speak. It is I, courageous one. Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. Surely you remember those times you were swinging that dick this way behind Zelda's back. <laughs> Just swinging it and flopping it. I see, so you lost your memory. Hmm, I guess you forgot about the child support, too. Huh. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise. I don't want you part of my family. There's Link. Please, <laughs> just Link was like a playboy, just fucking everybody behind Zelda's back. Even the Gorons. A <laughs> hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the Kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda f finally wished for- Wow, I can't, I can't read. Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, all alone, she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with you- uh, She entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I've been waiting a hundred years to deliver the princess's message. I'm old as fuck, Link. My goddamn social security checks skyrocket. However, these words, which the princess risked her life to leave to you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you still while you are still without your memory. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. Okay. You gonna tell me about these uh 
these pictures. What's this spear about? Ah, the Sheikah heirloom has been has been guarded by our tribe for generations. I must request that you do not touch it. Even for an esteemed guest such as yourself, there are certain rules that must be respected. Impa, I've been touching these balls in a bunch of fucking... <laughs> I've been touching these balls in a lot of places. No, <laughs> I've been touching these balls in a, in a bunch of uh, bunch of shrines. This ain't nothing new to me, but I do want to know why the fuck this one is special. I never, I never got an answer to that. The words that the princess risks her life to impart to you, I cannot pass them on someone who lacks convention. N, uh, are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> ah. Not a memory to your name, yet you are intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. And adventure. Don't forget for adventure. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Oh. Very well then. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. Sit back and watch my cutscene link. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Yo, Link, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. <laughs> all right, I'm going to shut up now. Advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Yeah, that's really cool, Impa. I was not paying attention at all. I was looking at my phone. Yo, y'all know that uh, Final Fantasy Exodus is having a crossover with Full Metal Alchemist? What the fuck? That's how much on my phone I was. Anyways, a <laughs> hundred years ago. All right. In preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of a th uh, ten thousand years prior. But in the end, 
Despite our best efforts and careful planning, we done fucked up, Link. In order to avoid even making that grave mistake again, the princess left you with these words. Oh. Fucking Link, free the damn beast, man. I've been waiting a hundred years. Get my ass out of here. Get my big Zelda booty ass out of here. <laughs> the four divine beasts are the ancient Sika weapons wielded by the four champions, not the four sword heroes, the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast Varudunia, Radunia, my bad, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. Divine beast Va Medon, I don't know how to pronounce that one, honestly, controlled by Ravali of the Rito. The divine beast Varuda, controlled by Mitha of the Zorua. And the divine beast Va Naboros, controlled by Orbosa. Oh my god, I want to be crushed between her fucking abs. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beast. Didn't stop me before. You must infiltrate the Divine Beasts that were stolen away by Ganon a hundred years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these Divine Beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Alrighty. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. Good. It seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Now, let's see. Someone at the research lab in, in I don't know how to pronounce this, Itino Village might not be able to help you. All right, understood. You are Princess Zelda's only hope in high rules as well. You cannot turn back now, follow your heart and seize your destiny. Sweet. I will be on my way then. Ooh, hello. M Master Link. Ooh, lady. <laughs> Come on. You can you can address me on the first name basis. <laughs> you ain't gotta you ain't gotta call me master. Not yet, anyways. Wait till we get to the bedroom. Whatever is the matter at this hour, dark magic preys upon the land uh, when darkness falls. Please promise to take care. I will, thank you. You know what, I should have talked to these two losers before I came up here. I should have been like, hey losers, how does it feel to fail at your only job? Ooh. Recently, the Yaga clan, the Yaga Yaga clan, <laughs> the Yaga 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 clan, has been acting suspiciously. It's our duty to protect Lady Empa. Okay, goodbye. To the Yaga clan, anyone who has so much feels bitterness towards Ganon is an enemy. Do not underestimate them. Actually, you know Ooh. what? I want you to explain it to me. Yaga clan. Ooh. We of the Sheikah tribe have long been heralded as the people of great wisdom. Our technology became the key to sealing Ganon away during the Great Calamity. So 10,000 years ago, at one point, our technology was praised as the uh, as the power of the gods. But eventually, the people turned the people turned it on. Wait, what? The people turned on it. Turned on us. Our creations came to be viewed as threats to the kingdom. The Sheikah became outcasts, forced into exile. Some, like us, chose to cast our uh, cast our. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Some, like us, chose to cast off our technology advances and strove to live normal lives. Others fostered hatred towards the kingdom that shunned them. These, sets, these sad souls swore their allegiance to Ganon. They now call themselves the Yaga Clan. Not the Yuga Clan, the Yaga Clan. <laughs> Yuga ha! I fucking love that soundtrack from, from Breath of the Wild. Uh, not Breath of the Wild, ugh. I don't like any soundtrack. <laughs> That's a lie. I, there, there's one soundtrack I like from Breath of the Wild. Um, but I meant, uh... Link Between Worlds. Fucking Yuga's theme? Great. I love it. It's like their own version of fucking one wing Angel. Their sole mission is to eliminate all who stand against Ganon. Please, dear hero, be careful out there. Okay. Who wants an apple? You want an apple, don't you? You want a nice little badapple? There you go. Yeah, hey, you found me. Bye bye Cool. Alright, so I'm going to say this is a good place to stop for now because I done fucked around <laughs> on my way getting here. So, we're going to stop here now. Uh, next part, we're going to be making our way towards the Great Fairy Fountain, and then we're going to start heading towards Hateno Village, or whatever the fuck it's called, to upgrade our sleep, uh, Sheikah Slate. And then, you know, we'll do some adventuring. But, until then, I want to say thank you guys for watching. 
right? If you uh, have not, please consider subscribing to the channel. Most importantly, click that notification bell for, you know, for the channel and also just for notifications in general for like uh, community posts and stuff like that. In the description below, you can head to my Twitch and my Twitter. Follow me there. And um, yeah, that's it for all the social stuff. Uh, share the video if you can, you know, share the channel, you know, recommend it to some people, it will help out a lot, so thank you very much for that. Um, what else is there? There are some other playthroughs going on at the moment. You can check out the Star Wars stuff that's going up, whether by the time this comes out it might be Fallen Order or Jedi Survivor, I don't know. Uh, it'll be one of the two. And then there's also the Pokemon stuff, Pokemon Crystal the Pokemon Marathon going up with that as well so you know after Pokemon Crystal I'll move on to a uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 and then we'll hit Pokemon Emerald I think in that order it might be another game in between that but I'm not sure um but yeah there's that going on who's like losing their fucking mind oh the painter <laughs> I'm like who's who's going crazy over here um yeah but that's pretty much it so as always thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video stay happy stay healthy and take care.